So this is the guest DLO that is available and all the fields are currently unmapped. Okay, so we need to map it to the DMOs. You can see here data model entities. No objects have been selected. Okay, so what we can do is we can either select or create custom objects to display here as mapping targets. So we're going to go ahead and select the objects. In this case, we are going to map it to the existing data model objects that are already there, which are provided to you by the data 360 model. So here you can see there is an option. If you see under custom data model, you can create a new custom data model or we can just look at the standard data model that is there and from this list we are going to select two objects one is the individual because what we can do is we can map it our existing guest DLO to this individual DMO so click on the plus next to the individual and similarly we can map it to the email uh, contact point email as well so here you have contact point email we'll select this so that is it we selected two and we are going to map it to two individual and contact point email we'll click on done and that is it so right now automatically it figured out that okay first name will go on the first name under the individual DMO surname is going to go under this uh, last name under the individual DMO now here there is a field called as individual ID right so if you remember there is a field on the individual DMO called individual ID what we're going to do is we're going to map it from here all the way here okay so now we have done the mapping for our individual DMO properly it has the primary key it has first name last name mapped now what about email right so email has to be mapped onto the email field available over here so we're going to go ahead and select email we're going to select email address so that is mapped similar Similarly, there is a guest ID. So we're going to map this guest ID to this contact point email ID, which is going to be unique. And then we'll also do one more, which is the party ID. So we're going to go ahead and select this. And this is the mapping. Okay, so this is the final mapping that we have done.